Kumusta? Ngayon ay may bago na naman tayong pag-aaralan at may bago na naman kayong matututunan dito sa Sir D Vlogs and Tutorials. Measurement is essential for us to understand the external world and through millions of years of life. We have developed a sense of measurement. Measurements require tools that provide scientists with a quantity. The problem here is that the result of every measurement by any measuring instrument contains some uncertainty. This uncertainty is referred to as error. Accuracy and precision are two important factors to consider while taking measurements. Both these terms reflect how close a measurement is to a known or accepted value. In this lesson, let us learn in detail about precision and accuracy. The scientific definition of the noun accuracy is the degree to which a measurement agrees with that measurement's standard value. In other words, accuracy is a measure of how close a measurement is to the correct or accepted value of the quantity being measured. While the scientific definition of the noun precision is the degree to which a set of measurements of the same sample agree with that set's mean. In other words, precision is a measure of how close a series of measurements are to one another. For example, an archery target and archer shooting arrows at the target. The closer that an arrow lands to the center of the target, the more accurate is the shot. In contrast, if an archer can shot several arrows that all land in almost the same location, then one can say that the archer is precise. Again, an archer can be accurate simply by the fact that bull's eye is the main of the points at which all of his or her arrows land. On the other hand, an archer can be precise simply by the fact that all of his or her arrows land in the same location. Again, accuracy is how close a measurement is to the correct value for that measurement. The precision of a measurement system is referred to how close the agreement is between repeated measurement. Measurement can be both accurate and precise. Accurate but not precise. Precise but not accurate or neither. Let's have an example. On this bullseye, the heats are all close to each other and at the center of the bullseye. This is an example of high accuracy and high precision. While on this bullseye, the heats are not close to each other, but some are near the center of the bullseye. This is an example of high accuracy and low precision. And in this bullseye, the heats are all close to each other, but not near the center of the bullseye. This is an example of low accuracy and high precision. But in this illustration, all the arrows are far from each other and also far from the target. This is an example of low accuracy and low precision.
Michael buys several bags of balloons. On the package, it says that each bag has 100 balloons. He opens the bags and only one of them has 100 balloons inside. The other bags either have too many or too few. How could you describe the bag of balloons with 100 balloons inside? A. Neither accurate nor precise. B. Precise but not accurate. C. Both accurate and precise. D. Accurate but the precision cannot be determined. E. Accurate but not precise. The answer is E. Accurate but not precise. This bug is accurate because it provided the correct number of balloons. However, the process is not precise as the results were clearly not repeatable. Accuracy deals with how close the measurement got to the accepted measurement. Precision deals with how consistent the measurement is. The bag with 100 balloons inside match the claim that made on the bag, meaning it was accurate. It was not precise because the other measurements show that the number of balloons is variable. Next, Michael Scales measures the mass of objects as consistently 2 kilograms less than their actual mass. How would you describe the scale? A. It is both accurate and precise. B. It is accurate but not precise. C. It is neither accurate nor precise. And D. It is precise but not accurate. And the answer is D. It is precise but not accurate. Precision measures how consistently a device records the same answer. In this case, Michael's scale is always 2 kilograms short. Even though it displays the wrong value, it is consistent. That means it is precise. Measuring a 100 kilogram object will always display a mass of 8 kilograms. The results are easily reproduced. Accuracy is how well a device measures something against its accepted value. In this case, Michael's scale is not accurate but because it is always off by 2 kilograms. Next, we have a brand of fruit snacks claim that each bag has a mass of 25.5 grams. After weighing three bags, Wally observes the mass is to be 25.5 grams, 25.6 grams, and 26.1 grams. Describe the accuracy and precision of the measurements. A. It is both accurate and precise. B. It is accurate but not precise. C. It is neither accurate nor precise. And D. It is precise but not accurate. And the answer is B. It is accurate but not precise. The claim for the mass of the first bag is accurate. The brand says there should be 25.5 grams in each bag and there was 25.5 grams in the first bag. The claim on the first bag is not precise as the results are not replicated universally throughout the experiment. The masses of the bags fluctuate with the average of the three bags equal to 25.7 grams.